Hey everybody, so today I'm here to share with you what is gonna be in my girls' back to school baskets. If you're new to my channel or my videos, I secular homeschool our three daughters. It has been our oldest two for the past couple, but this year I'll be doing like a loose preschool with our youngest as well. So I'm just gonna show you what we are going to put in their baskets. Our school year won't start until the beginning of September. That's how I have it planned. But a lot of you said that you go back to school at the end of July, early August, and it just kind of depends on where you are in the United States. So I just wanted to get this up as quickly as possible for you guys. So the baskets are gonna be using our repeats from Easter. As you can see, their Easter tags are still on here. So I'll link these if you like them, but these are wooden and this is their Easter tags. But these baskets are from Target. They're the hearth and hand. Uh, so I'll link those if I can find them. I'm pretty sure they have them in stock online at least year round, but I will look and if not, I will find something comparable for you. But yes, this is their Easter tags and then I do have their back to school tags, same as last year. I will link the Etsy shop down below. She's amazing to work with. Absolutely love how they came out, but reusing stuff. So that's a look at what we'll be holding everything. So starting off with our toddler, she will be three when our school year starts. She will not need a lot. Like I said, doing a very loose kind of preschool program with her, mostly through play and different hands-on activities, nothing too structured, just some letter, number, colors, shapes, recognition, and stuff like that. Kind of thing she already knows, but you know, still wanted to include her and a little bit more than we did last year. Last year was more about keeping her entertained while we were doing school and this year is more about including her. So first things first, I got this puffy sticker book from Walmart. It's the Pen and Gear brand. And then I also did get her some of these larger pencils so she could start working on her grip on a pencil. And then these are no stranger to my channel. We love these. I have included these in so many baskets for the kids now, and they are expensive. This pack right here is $10. The 20 pack is $20. They are so expensive, but when I say they last so much longer than regular markers because they are clickable, just this is all I'll buy anymore. They're also washable as well, so that's why I'm giving them to our toddler because she has been doing pretty good with the ones her sisters have in their room. So I'm going to give her her own, and that way she can kind of have a little something here. And then I did get her a little Spidey notebook. This is from the UB brand, which you can find at Target, but for my Canadian friends, I'm going to link. Amazon. They do sell on Amazon as well, but they sell them in these bigger packs. So it'll have a bunch of different Marvel characters. I'll do that with the notebooks and the folders that I'll show you here in a second. But she doesn't need a notebook. She's not going to be writing anything. But again, we're about including and, you know, she can color in this. Last year, I got her sister's chapsticks to keep in their pencil pouches and wow, I completely underestimated how much she would have liked one. So she was well behaved with theirs whenever they would let her use it. So I'm just going to give her her own this year. I also found these crayons, which looked kind of new to me, but they're bold and bright construction paper crayons. I don't know. I'm not really sure, but they looked fun. And then I wanted to get her a spoutless sippy cup, but I wanted it to be insulated. So there's this one from Munchkin. You can put stickers on the inside here, but I don't think we will, but it's just a 360 cup just to kind of keep in there. I will say the munchkin cups that I had last year for the older girls, the ones with the straw and the lid that could hold snacks, those are amazing. They don't leak. They are our go-to school cup. I will link those down below. They worked out fabulously, but Lexi's actually the one who needs a cup this year. And then for her hair item, she doesn't have a full-size hairbrush and she loves Moana. So I found this one from Walmart. There is a bunch of other princesses as well. And then last but certainly not least, my other girls have pencil pouches. I've gotten those from Pottery Barn in the past. However, I've seen this at Target, so I could not pass it up because my girls are super into Marvel right now, and Lexi more specifically loves Spidey and Hulk and Captain America and Black Panther, so this is supposed to look like a little school bus, and it opens up and it expands. I will also try to link this on 
Amazon because I saw it on there as well in case you don't have a Target. But that is everything for Lexi's. So pretty minimal compared to what her sisters got. But again, she doesn't need a whole lot. We'll be learning through play mostly. But what I could get her, I definitely wanted to. So the older girls have very similar things over here and they tie into school. They tie into stuff they can do after school, whatever it might be. So let me actually move this file. That was Lexi's. So we'll start with Remy over here. I did get her some hair scrunchies. These are all sequins. This just screamed Remy to me. She's going to put anything in her hair. It's going to look like this. I got these from Walmart. And then I found this gum, grape gum. She's obsessed with grape. She loves it. And I can hardly ever find anything grape flavored. And then I also got her a chapstick as well. They also have a purple one, but I decided to get them all three the same color. Got her the same bold and bright crayons. I've gotten a version of these from the Oli brand before and the girls loved them. But Walmart had these from the Hello Hobby line that they have now and they were pretty inexpensive. And then I got her this sticker book. It has a bunch of different ones as you can see here on the back. There's just a bunch of different stuff. I thought this would be fun and it's also from Walmart. So again, these are not new. We had these last year. I think the scents are the same, but the girls had a lot of fun with these. They got a kick out of them. So I got them those again. I know educators don't love that because kids might stick that in their mouth, but I'm supervising my own kids. And then I found this gem by number kit. So their grandma, my mom, loves doing these like adult versions and they've seen her do them so I thought this would be really fun and then I did get them a cute little notebook again we don't really write in notebooks if you know our curriculum you understand why but I do give the girls notebooks so they can keep journals or draw or do whatever they want to do and then I got her a Black Panther folder this is to just hold some of her work for the assessment that we'll have to do at the end of the year and uh like I said my girls are obsessed with Marvel and Remy's absolute favorite of all time is Black Panther and then I got them these new binders for this school year I think they're more like paper-ish and not plastic but they're really really sturdy this came in two different colors this one screamed like Isabel from Encanto and that is Remy's favorite as well. So I got her this one and the last thing the older girls got were some headphones. Honestly, I'm probably gonna give them these really early. The room's making them look blue, but these are actually purple and yellow. They can use these with their iPods. They can use these with tablets and the Chromebook that we have and a bunch of different stuff. So I think I'm going to give them these early. These were very reasonable. I believe they were around $10 or $11 each. It comes with a little pouch. They are very nice, very well made, and they also only go up so loud. There's this little switch right here. That can allow you to control it and then there's also an additional jack in each headphone so the girls can actually share and listen to stuff which when i was buying these i was like how often are they going to do that but they have been using mark and i's headphones for the past few days to listen to stuff and they have been trying to share with each other non-stop so i actually think this is going to come in handy so this is just sophie's pair she would plug it right in there and then she could listen to whatever Remy is listening to and vice versa. So I'm very happy with these headphones. And like I said, they were pretty affordable and exactly kind of what I was looking for. Sophie has a lot of the same stuff. She does have different scrunchies, but she has the same glue sticks, crayons, sticker book, uh, the little gem activity, the same gel crayon. These are just, they're so nice. My kids loved those. Different flavor of the gum. This is cotton candy, but nonetheless, same chapstick, same notebook, but she got a Captain Marvel folder because she really loves her and Miss Marvel, but they only had Captain Marvel. And then I got her this binder, which is just a different color than her sister's, but this screamed Mirabelle from Encanto. So I think that they are going to love those. And then her headphones are the same brand, come with the same stuff, except she wanted pink. So that's what I got her again has that over there has this little control switch so this is everything that i'm going to put in their baskets i'm going to work my magic now and show you guys the end results but i'm very very excited for these they came together so so well i will link what i can down in the description box in case you don't want to stick around and see them all put together but in case you do just hold on one second and i'll be right back 
All right, guys, here's a look at all of them put together. I'm so happy with how they turned out. Seriously, it couldn't have been more perfect. I will say the binders were a little big, just a touch. So I just kind of tilted them to the side and then I tilted the folders the opposite direction. That way the character faces could stick out. I didn't do much of that with Lexi's, but it's because it's a pretty simple basket and you can see almost everything just at like one shot, one go. And there was some space left in the back of the baskets, which was perfectly fine because that's actually where I have the like little dot art stuff. So it's hanging out back there. And it also gave me some space to kind of hang up the headphones, even though I said I'm going to give those to the kids early so they can use them right now it's something where if I was going to give them the baskets, that's kind of how I would put the headphones. But I am so happy with how these turned out. They're just precious. They're always just like a fun start to the year, as simple or as intricate as you want to make it. I'm just so, so happy with these. So yeah, I hope that gave you guys some inspiration. If you guys made it all the way to the end of the video, why don't we go ahead and put the red apple emoji so I know that you stuck around with me the whole time and thank you if you did. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Like I said, I will try to link as much as I possibly can in the description box for you guys. And as always, thanks for watching.